hello guys and welcome back to the channel now um cryptocurrency lender company nexo has actually been hit with a class action lawsuit over its unlawful suspension of xrp payments in late december that actually caused five million us dollars in damages now the plaintiff johan jiong who filed the suit in the northern district of california on behalf of other similarly situated users earlier this month um did the uh, did file the law uh, the class action lawsuit and of course after the u.s securities and exchange commission sued uh, ripple nexo rushed to suspend the ability to repay loans with the affiliated xrp cryptocurrency or even using it as collateral now it did not provide its users with notice of the suspension and that is where the problem stemmed from Hello guys, if you're new to the channel, please do consider subscribing for daily XRP news updates and daily XRP price predictions. But not only that, we'll also be bringing you daily crypto news updates and cryptocurrency price analysis, news that will help you in the valuation and analysis of your cryptocurrencies. Now let's get back to the news. And of course, hundreds of affected customers were locked out of actually maintaining their loan to value ratios since they could not sell their tokens which actually triggered a string of liquidations and uh, Jean claims that he lost $269,300 worth of XRP tokens that were posted as collateral of course the lawsuit says that Nexo was not entitled to liquidate the collateral of customers and the plaintiff counters the company's public statement that was published on December 30 which purported it own the XRP tokens held as collateral. Now, these people say that if Nexo were to acquire the ownership of the crypto assets that Nexo customers post as collateral, this would be an extremely unfair result that unreasonably favors Nexo over its customers, and that resulted from the Nexo customers' lack of reasonable choice or negotiating power over the terms and conditions that Nexo imposes on customers without negotiations. Now also, our Nexo customers are seeking to recover the value of their XRP when the lender suspended its use. And of course, uh, Nexo's customers are also entitled to the value of the digital assets taken from their savings wallets and the value of the digital assets or cash that they transferred to their credit line wallets to maintain their LTV ratios during the suspension of customer use of XRP. And this is because of any obligation to maintain those ratios had been excused. Of course, Yong is asking the court to award him and other affected users damages in an amount to be determined at trial. And also in addition, the plaintiff could be awarded any other relief that is deemed proper so that is what it's facing these guys and of course in a in another news in a recent interview with kitco uh, robert kiyosaki actually predicted that bitcoin could ultimately reach 1.2 million us dollars worth in the next five years now kiyosaki bought the cryptocurrency for the first time last year when it was trading at 9,000 us dollars this is after the pandemic effectively shut down the world economy in early 2020. And last year, Kiyosaki correctly called that Bitcoin would experience another bull run due to rampant money printing. Of course, the likes of MicroStrategy, Tesla and Square now have the cryptocurrency on their balance sheets. And despite turning into a staunch Bitcoin advocate, Kiyosaki says that he still prefers gold and silver since the flagship cryptocurrency remains untested. Of course, speaking of a potential government crackdown, Kiyosaki also said that such a possibility was a very serious concern. And of course, on this day back in 1933, the president back then, Frank Roosevelt, issued an executive order to ban Americans from holding gold. So you can imagine the effectiveness of the uh, decision to or the possibility maybe of uh, the government to ban cryptocurrencies as well is also a very serious concern that we should also put in mind. But of course, that's what I had collected for you for today or at least for now. So stick around to the channel. Please do consider subscribing because we'll be bringing you news updates as they come our way. 
and uh thank you very much for watching if you enjoyed it please do consider subscribing and giving us a like and until the next update bye, -bye. 2020 and last year kiyosaki correctly called that bitcoin would experience another bull run due to rampant money printing of course the likes of microstrategy tesla and square now have the cryptocurrency on their balance sheets and despite turning into a staunch bitcoin advocate kiyosaki says that he still prefers gold and silver since the flagship cryptocurrency remains untested of course speaking of a potential government crackdown kiyosaki also said that such a possibility was a very serious concern and of course on this day back in 1933 the president back then, Frank Roosevelt, issued an executive order to ban Americans from holding gold. So you can imagine the effectiveness of the uh, decision to, or the possibility maybe of uh, the government to ban cryptocurrencies as well, is also a very serious concern that we should also put in mind. But of course, that's what I had collected for you for today, or at least for now. So stick around to the channel. Please do consider subscribing because we'll be bringing you news updates as they come our way. And uh, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please do consider subscribing and giving us a like. And until the next update, bye-bye.